get started. This is sportsmanship we'd like to see. I think the new addition to uh, this Canada team, Buckner, is a real difference maker, man. This dude is uh, explosive, gets to the rim, plays with, a, with his head down, aggressive, always looking to make a play for his team. And he made plenty of them en route to that uh, big comeback win for Team Canada. Link later. Oh, showing the bunnies. Named uh, most spectacular player on the pro circuit. Link later, fading away. Leaves it short. Passes deflected. Link later tracks it down. Oh, nice feed on the inside. Leapers. I don't know what was better, the, the catch and the score, the pass from Steve Sir. What a, what a dime there. Now, Link later, in and out. Oh, but deed up. It's a tough shot to, uh, to shoot over the size of Russian interior. Spearheaded by Korshiko. Steve, yes, sir. Wet business. Link later. Oh, pass is deflected. Dubowski now trying to set up down low. Korshikov. Ooh, off the up fake, drives and scores. 3 1, Canada on top. Link later. Floater. Misses it. Oh, Alexandrov up fake on Sir. And then Link later. Call for the foul. Immediately checks out. And there's Buckner. Now, if you, go, if you want somebody to, to get in here and mix it up, there's your man. Nothing wrong with a physical game. This is how Russia plays. They got, they got shooters. But uh, these dudes are more like rugby players. They probably wouldn't guess they were hoopers if you saw them on the street. You'd be like, yeah, this dude probably is in UFC. That dude probably plays forward for the... Oh, almost lost the footing there. Pavlenko. <laughs> Link later. Link later said, yeah, Kyle. Better get focused on this game, Link later. Two-point advantage for the guys in red. Pull up Pavlenko. Two-piece. No biscuit. Three up. Pavlenko. Nice stroke. Canada setting up a nice play out of the out-of-bounds. And then look at Lee for showing some emotion. You don't see that a lot from Maple Leaf. But a beautifully designed play and a, and a Maganda feed from Leaf from Link later to Leafers. And oh, shooter's touch. Leafers gets it to uh, trickle down. And a five to three lead for Canada. Pass on the inside. Course your call. Foul by Link later. Zandro swings it over to Korshiko. He misses. Way to keep it alive, though, underneath. Gives Alexandrov another opportunity. Leapers can't track it down. Pavlenko kicks it. Just inside the two-point arc, Alexandro is able to knock it down from the baseline. Pull Russia within one. Seven and a half to play. Leak later. Over to Buck. Buck turns, fades away. Can't find a target. Korshikov going to Alexandrov, trying to uh, utilize that size against Linklater. I don't know about a strength advantage, because like I said, Linklater, he's been in the weight room. 
Buckner. Air mails it. Look disjointed on that uh, possession was Team Canada. Take a look at that last score there. The ball fake from Alexandra. And then Link later. The dime. Eifers finishes it off. Alexandra with an answer right there on the baseline. So both teams are going to talk it over. Link later, the floor general. Trying to make sure his guys are all on the same page. Most spectacular player of the World Tour season in 2017. Proud member of the First Nation Canadian community. The Nihaya from Thunderchild First Nation. Leaves up. Uh, he has power by keeping, uh, maintaining his hair. You see that long ponytail? He has it cut it. Alexandros, deed up, Red Rock. Steve, sir, set up in the corner. Buck sets Link later a screen. Link he knew that that was going to be a miss, so he immediately followed it. Gets it over to Steve, sir. Man, he the wettest in the building. Pavlenko. Misses. Dubovsky staying with it and gets the score. One point game, Canada in front. A little bit different uh, start for them as Steve Sir goes back to back. Uh, Dubovsky off the glass. Link later tries to go glass, he misses. Steve Sir. So not only is he good from outside the arc, he's good inside the arc too. Sir is actually on the Milwaukee Bucks Summer League team. 2016, it's so only a couple of years ago. This, this dude can compete at the highest level, whether it be five on five or three on three. And will absolutely shoot the lights out. So, sir, call for the foul there. Pavlenko at the strike. And he knocks it down. Russia within two points now. Miscommunication there, turnover there on Team Canada. Good D from Leafers. Later. Up top. Leafers. Oh, if he would have if he would have dunked that. Leafers. Link later. He's thinking about the two. He's waiting for a pick. Sir sets it. Oh, the pass. Sir. Oh yeah. One-legged fadeaway. Dirk Nowitzki game on you. Oh, and then Alexandrov flies in with the knee. Puts Leafers down on the ground. 11-9. Steve Sir, oh, just barely missed that. Leapers retains the possession, gets the rebound. But uh, Sir turns it over. Alexandra, quick shot. Looks like uh, Canada's kind of luring Russia into to their type of game. And I don't know if you want to get into a shootout with Steve Sir and company, although he misses that one off the front of the rim. Alexandra down low. I think this is the strength for Team Russia. And one opportunity as Korshikov gets the pass and uh, gets the layup plus the foul. You know, Russia's game is more kind of beat you up, physical, uh, 
work it inside out type game. But when you have a shooter like Steve Surf for Canada, you, know, you can obviously understand why they rely a little bit more on that two point shot. They ain't afraid to get in there and get to the rim as well, though. Surf. Imprint is all over this game. As Canada looking to go 2 0 after that 21 15 dub over Mongolia. Only one can uh, go back to the hotel undefeated. Russia with a 2016 win over Brazil. Russia Cole could tie it up. Missed it, but look at Link later battling. That one called on the floor. On Link later. Six fouls on Team Canada, only one on Russia. So uh, no more to give for Canada. Stripped away, swiper, no swiping. Link later. Foul. Foul on White. TV timeout. It's going to be Canada ball when we come out of uh, the short break. 3.56 officially left on the clock. Our official timekeeper, Tiso. Making Swiss watches. Lazarus, DJ Flavor Maddox holding it down. The ones and twos. Hey, no more. No more. Canada on the attack. Leak later. Oh, through the legs, behind the back. Oh, draws the foul. Foul number three on Russia. This one will earn Link later. A free throw opportunity. Every bucket important in a game like this that could really go either way. Two very evenly matched teams. Alexandrov OD'd up. Buckner with the block through the nets. Not sure how he managed to get his hand through there. Link later follows his own miss. Instead of taking it up, decides to take it out. Says, hey, let's set this thing up. He's got Korshiko guarding him. Link later. Oh, hanging. Missed it. Leapers can't uh, get the ball. So Alexandra pestered by Link later. And now Link later trying to pester Debo Sev. And what a defensive play. Link later. So smart. This is dude, this is a, a cerebral player in the game. Watch him step right up there, maintain his position, was outside the restricted area, and draws the offensive foul. Those are what uh, what my old coach would say are winning plays. That's a winning type of play. Leafers. This is at the rim. Korshikov looking a little bit tired. They're going to need him on the offensive end, though, as he turns his back on Steve Sir. Rises up with the hook and gets the score. So he had enough energy to get the bucket there. Leafers hands it off. Sir, quick catch and shoot. He is shooting the lights out here in Philippine Arena. It's going to be pitch black pretty soon. Fourteen, thirteen. So look at the last sequence between the two. Korshiko with the hook, and that's answered by Steve Sir. Yeah, 
So field goal challenge. And I believe the, the two point two pointer. It looked like a two pointer. Worth another look. And yeah, you can see that uh, foot was on the line. And the challenge is one. Challenge is one. So they'll take a uh, one point away from Canada. 13 to 11. Thought seems to start, but it doesn't take away from the fact that he's still shooting it like block boy. Shoot, shoot. I love that. My son does too. Team Russia rock. Out of bounds challenge. And now we have an out of bounds challenge. So, the refs will get another look at this one. Be sure to follow FIBA 3X3 on all social media. Plus FIBA 3X3. My vantage point. Around. Looks like Steve Sir was the last one to get a hand on that one. You too. FIBA 3X3. Come follow me. MC Hollanders. But I could be wrong. So the footage unclear. Challenge is going to remain. So the play on the floor, or the call on the floor, is going to stay as is. It's going to stay Canada ball. Steve Sarr hands it off. Link later. Looking for Sarr. And Alexandrov forced to uh, defend with his leg. Kick ball is called. Going to be a fresh shot clock for Team Canada. Last two minutes, we open the bag of potato chips. It's crunch time. Two point game. Alexandra, that's a good look. Bang, bang. And we got a tie game. Link later. Trying to take the two back. Can't do it. Dubovsky swings it over. Alexandra. Turns. Thought he wanted the two there. That foul on the floor. And that's going to cost Canada two free throw attempts. I'm not sure Link later had much of a much of a choice on the play. Alexandra with a big two in the corner. Korshikov. He hits it, puts Russia up 14-13. And knocks down the second as well. So a two-point lead for Russia as Buck goes up to, uh-uh, uh-uh, that man might have kids at home. Leaf is banging on his back to give Canada their 14 point of the game. Man, he took the elevator up. Steve Sir, baseline J, and it's 15 up. Korshiko, nice move as he scores on Leafers. It gives Russia a one-point advantage. Steve Sir, catch, shoot. And a foul is called on the shot. Another look at the oop buck. 
Oh, and then Leafers just, come on. Just climbed on the back of Dubovsky. <laughs> he didn't even grab it cleanly. So, sir, good on the first. It's a key free throw here. And he makes the second to put Canada in front. A minute to play. The Canadians with a one-point advantage. Alexandro, nice fake, takes it right at Sir. And he evens it up at 17 apiece. Now Linklater setting up. He and Leapers with so much chemistry, played the game together for such a long time. On a college championship in Canada. Linklater open like a double click. Connection, Canada. Now leading 1917. And Steve Sir mixing it up. Takes the cookies. Now can they finish? Dime to Leafers. 20 to 17. Alexandrov catch and shoot misses. Dubowski misses it. Link later. With 10 seconds left. They can taste it now. Hesitation right down the alleyway. Oh, and he misses the shot, but it's not going to matter anyway because his team gets the much needed W. And what a game! What a game! 20 to 17. Canada pulls it out. And they go 2 and 0 on the day. In a crazy competitive pool that uh, Russia is considered a favorite in. Yet still, Mike Linklater and the Canadians, eh, get it done. 2 and 0. So, a couple of really hard fought wins. They get past Mongolia and then turn up the heat on Russia. As we look back in the highlights in this one, Steve Sir, he had the two-shooter locked and loaded. I mean, he was giving them buckets. Alexandra doing his part. There's your play of the game with Leapers banging on somebody's back. Link later, continued to facilitate. Huge too, too late. Leapers with the finish at the rim. And how about the Canadians pulling through against Russia in a signature win?